To find the slope between two points, you need to use the slope formula. In my opinion, the easiest version of this formula is y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. A lot of people get confused by those little ones and twos, but those are subscripts. They're not actually numbers that get worked into the formula. They're only there to keep you organized. Start by choosing the point that you want to go first. As long as you're consistent, it really doesn't matter which point you choose, so don't stress over this step. In this case, I'm going to keep things simple and just make the first point the first point. Our second step is to plug the coordinates into the formula. Just make sure that the y's are on top. That might seem backwards to you, but it's just how slope works. y1 is the y-coordinate of the first point, which is 2, and y2 is the y-coordinate of the second point, which is 6. On the bottom, we need to be consistent. The first point still comes first, so our x1 is 1, and our x2 is 3. The rest is just arithmetic. Start with the subtraction. 2 minus 6 is negative 4, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. As always, you need to fully reduce your fractions. In this case, negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. So the slope is 2. We are done. But what would happen if we put the second point first and the first point second? Like I said before, as long as we're consistent, it shouldn't matter. This time, the point 3, 6 would be the first on the top, and the first on the bottom, so we would get 6 minus 2 over 3 minus 1. This simplifies to 4 divided by 2, which is still the same slope of 2 that we got before. This goes to show that you really don't need to worry about which point you choose first. But as you get more comfortable with the formula, you'll start to think ahead and choose the point that will make the arithmetic easier. In this case, I'd probably choose to have 3, 6 as my first point, so that I don't need to deal with negative numbers. But sometimes negatives are unavoidable. Let's look at a twisted example. Again, for the sake of simplicity, I'll make the first point the first point, plugging in the coordinates y1 is 1 and y2 is negative 5. On the bottom, I need to be consistent. The x1 is negative 4 and the x2 is 0. Notice that when I substituted in the negative numbers, I used parentheses. I always do this because I'm always afraid of losing a negative. Now I see much more clearly that the top of the fraction is 1 minus negative 5. Since two negatives make a positive, this becomes 1 plus 5, which is 6. On the bottom, negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4. Reduce the fraction as much as possible to get 3 over negative 2. And when there's only one negative, you can bring it out front to say that our slope is negative 3 over 2. The most common mistake when finding slope is losing negatives. There are two minus signs built into the formula to begin with, in addition to whatever negatives get plugged in with the coordinates. Stay organized and check your work. Remember to like this video if it helped, comment if you have a question, and subscribe to this channel so that you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.